Using media to show emotions in art. I'll be studying the work of three artists and comparing how they use paint to show emotions in their work, all from the 20th century. The Austrian artist Egon Schiel, who was a protege of the Gustav Klimit. The American artist Cy Twombly. And Irish-born English artist Francis Bacon. Each of the artists uses colour in different ways. Egon Schiel and Francis Bacon both use dark colours to convey sadness, anger and negative emotions. Francis Bacon, however, uses more realistic colours than Egon Schiel. He puts the colours in the wrong places, however, such as where the red would normally be in the cheeks is more on the nose and the skin tone does not match where the shading should be, which helps the figure look more disfigured. Egon Schiel uses his colours realistically, but uses them in more of a block effect, making the pictures look more illustrated. Cy Twombly uses completely different colours altogether though, from Egon Schiel and Francis Bacon. They still convey the same emotions, as they use the colours of bright reds and oranges, but they also then move into pastel pinks and blues. Because these colours tend to be warm, they give a strong sense of anger, and this shows a lot of emotion. But with the depth and range of the colours that he uses and the layering on top of each other, we get more of a layered effect of the emotion as well, giving it more of a realistic feeling, even though not a realistic look. This painting is a really good example of that. You see all the reds and frustrations with the strokes and matches. However, the, most of the picture is light blues and drainy and dripping, showing how a lot of people with that anger can often then descend into sadness or even show their frustration through tears. So Twombly also uses his style and structure a lot differently compared to other artists. He has very abstract and energetic way of displaying the paint, which helps him show that raw emotion instead of a standard facial expression. Unlike Cy Twombly's abject expressionist work, Egon Schiel and Francis Bacon show the emotion in a piece through facial features. Egon and Francis, however, don't necessarily have to be showing emotion on the face itself by, say, a smile or an angry furrow. They do this with their painting technique. Unlike Egon, Francis Bacon, however, twists and moves the features of the face so they are no longer very recognisable, which brings out the distraught and the confusion. Also, all of his people have a natural expression, but the distortion makes them look quite miserable, and we can see the frustration and anger and fear that the artist is trying to convey. Egon Schiel places his people in more realistic proportions, however they are still distorted, and the people are made to look as ugly as possible. He has a more detailed illustrative style. He uses bold outline to bring out the details of the features in the faces and body, such as eye bags and wrinkles, which bring discomfort and misery to how they look. Of the three artists, Egon Schiel is the most realistic. All three artists use paints as their main material, however each artist uses paints in different ways. Cy Twombly uses a medium similar to acrylic paint. He creates very abstract pieces by aggressively and energetically applying the paint with a brush, which resembles the anger that he's trying to layer. By layering the different colours of paint, he shows the depth of our emotions and how irrational they are. He creates and builds up of anger with sadness afterwards. He creates the sadness in the piece by allowing the paint to drip down the canvas representing our tears or the rain. By doing this, he also allows the colours to run into each other, which makes it look more detailed. Egon Schiel creates detail differently. He uses black outlines to try and show every single feature. He then layers other medias of paint messily around to create texture and movement in the piece. He will use different media for different parts of the body. The material he uses are crayon, gouache and watercolour. He uses them on paper as it works well for both water-based and oil-based paints. Unlike Egon Schiel, Francis Bacon uses lots of shading blending and highlighting in his pieces. He is able to keep such bright colours by using oil paints on canvas. This means the paints won't smudge into each other and make it look muddy as happens with a lot of other painters if you're not used properly. He also layers his paint to build up depth to his characters. So, 
what have we learned? We now know all three artists managed to convey strong emotion in different ways. Saitomli mainly through colour, Egon Schiel through facial features, and Francis Bacon by distorting faces. How will you use media to show emotion?